Arabic writing that is uh, different forms of the word. Unless we uh, know these different forms of the verb, how to say that I drink water, she drank water, you drink water, right? So we have different forms of the verb and how to conjugate them and how to recognize the roots of the letters. These are two basic information that we are going to learn, inshallah. But we will complete these two letters, Saad and Daad. And for that, please go to page number 102, 102. I also would like to remind you about uh, two uh, writing styles of the letter Sin and Sheen. If you still remember that last time we have written two examples. Sin, you can write with the teeth, three teeth. That is more printing version. You also can write Sin with a flat line, the flat body, like this. Right? And one style is this one. And these two styles are true in all the forms of the scene, all four shapes. Beginning scene also you can write just like this. And we have the word Ustaz over here. You also can uh, use the, this flat scene style as the medial scene. For example, if you write the word Hisab, so you can write hisab like that. Hmm? And the print version will be with the teeth, it will be like that. And same thing is true about the letter sheen. So sheen and sheen, they have same basic structure. The only difference is the nukta. That uh, sheen is, have no nukta if you put Three nukta over here for the sheet, it will be the letter sheet. <coughs> Same thing over here. You do you still remember the nukta version also for print version and handwritten version? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So for the three nukta, this is a carrot shape. This shape. Okay. If you make this shape, it will be handwritten style of the Tri Nukta. And I also would like to remind you, because this is the same topic, if there are two Nukta like for the letter Ta, so it's a bar, this horizontal bar. This is for two Nukta. <coughs> so let's move forward and we will learn about solve. So one question there. Yes. The three dot, where is the middle or the starting of that T? I mean, when you make the return style, one line. Uh -huh. Where the three uh, dot is supposed to be? Okay, it will be in the middle of the letter. For example, if you are uh, writing the word, the, they have given the example of hashish, by the way. <laughs> hashish actually, uh, the literal meaning in Arabic, hashish is a grass. You know, any, any grass. <laughs> But later on it became, so I will let me write in both versions. This will be print version. Now I will write it with the handwritten. This and then this. Right? So we have two sheen. So you will put uh, the nukta either this way or this way and then this way in the middle yes and for that you can look at the book also the same word if you just go two pages before that page number 99 look at page number 99 <laughs> and the first word you will see on the top of the page it is shy shy means t mm -hmm. so you can see the nukta of that sheen or shy and the second word is written hashish 
So you can see the nukta of sheen also. So it should be in the middle of the letter. Okay. Now go back again on page number 102. And <coughs> this is about the letter saad. So saad, it comes with the discussion of seen because seen and saad, they are very close to each other. But they are at the same time they are contrast in contrast because seen is a thin letter, soft letter, soth is heavy letter. Okay? So this is the big difference in the pronunciation of soth as compared to seen. The second information about soth is that soth is also connector, connecting letter. It means it has all four shapes. Okay? And right now I will show you the four shapes of sod. So this is independent. This will be beginning, initial. This will be medial. And this will be final sod. Right? So the core of the letter, if you pay attention, is this shape of saw. Okay? Not the tail. So tail we have only in the independent saw and in the final shape of saw. But the core of the letter, it will remain in all four shapes, is this beginning shape of saw. Now, what is the common mistake that some people, they do while they are writing saw? They make sometimes different type of shape like this one also. They make this shape as pointed. Hmm? This is wrong. The correct shape of sod always should be this one. So this is like oval shape. So remember while you are writing sod that the shape should be the oval shape. The second thing to remember is that it should be the hook after this shape while you are writing independent saw so it always should be with the tooth or the hook okay because again there is a mistake some people if you you see them writing like that hmm? without the hook or without the tooth that will be wrong so these two things are important to remember about the letter saw so we have uh, one important point about the pronunciation of Saad is an emphatic letter. It should be pronounced heavy. And because this letter is heavy, so the surrounding vowel that will be alif, the quality of alif will be heavy. And we will practice few words with the Saad. So that is pronunciation. And writing I showed you all the four shapes of Saad. So, if you just look on page number 103, 103, and go on this discussion of writing, Saad. Brother Tanvir, can you read this paragraph, please? The letter Saad is a connector. It retains the same basic shape in both print and handwriting. There are two essential points to keep in mind when writing Saad. A. The loop must be large and oval-shaped. And B. There should be a small 2 